This is a recording to show you how to start using Edmodo. So if you don't have an account, you're going to open an account as a teacher. The advantage is that you will be able to create groups as well if you want to. So you complete the teacher sign up information with username, password, email, then you click on sign up. Okay? Then it's going to ask you for a code. So if you have received an invitation from someone with a code to a group, so you complete uh, with the code number. Okay, so I already have an Edmodo account, so I'm going to complete with my information. Instead of signing up, I'm going to sign in. And here we are. This is my Edmodo page. Whenever I want to join a group, I have to come here to the left sidebar where it says Groups, Join, wait for a second, and then here I type the code the person has sent me and click and join. Okay, so um, here on the left I have the groups I am a member of or groups I have created. Okay, as you can see each group has a different color. Because if I click, so let's imagine here I'm going to click on Couture Inglés Teachers, so here we are. I can only see the messages uh, written by the Couture Inglés Teachers. Um, if I want to come to Upper B, so now it's another color, so I have the Upper B messages. Okay, all right, now let's learn everything. Let's learn how to use the message box. This is the message box. I can send a text or I can send a link to a site or I can share an application from the web which has an embed code by uh, pasting the embed code in, th in this box. I write the description and I send it to the group. So you send a group, so let's see, I want to send a message to the Cultura Inglesa Teachers group or to the Cultura EdTech group. So I select it and then I click in send. Okay, uh, so let us test a little bit. All right, so let me show you how to write a note. So I write over here. Hello everyone. Let's click send and you're going to see I'm going to send a message, okay? Now if I don't like the message I have just written, I can edit it by clicking over here. I can edit and save the message again. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to share a video, for example, or any uh, application you have an embed code. So um, I would like to share with the rest of the group a video from the human network, for example, from YouTube. So on the right, where it says incorporar, I'm going to copy this code here. I click Control C, so I copy the embed code. I come to Edmodo again. So I'm going to share a link, but I'm going to share an embed code. Control V. The oops. The human network video. And I'm going to send it to the Cultura EdTech group as well. Send. And then you're going to see. Uh-huh the video appears over here, okay? Now what else can I share here? Sharing a link. So I'd like to suggest this site to the other people. So same thing here, I click in link and then I copy, control V, the address I'd like to share. This is my blog, oops. And then I send it, I start typing, and I see the name of the group, and I send it. 
So now you're going to see that this is a link. When people click over here, they will be taken to the site. Okay? Now what else can I do? I can also send a file which I have in my computer. So let's imagine I want to send a picture, for example. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to send this picture. I click and open. Okay, so the picture is over there. Of course, I can write a text or just a description. Then I send it to the group again. Go to the attack. Send. And there you are. I have shared a picture. Okay. Now what else can I do? I can send alerts to the group and I can send an assignment. So let me show you the assignment. So let's imagine I have a group for my students. So I write the assignment title, I describe the assignment, I can even add a picture or an archive, a file to, not an archive, a file uh, to my message. I select the date, the due date, and I send it to the group. Okay? Okay, now something else you have to pay attention to is to the spotlight. So whenever you receive, when your students turn in assignments, when you receive an alert or a reply to a message you have written, you're going to uh, receive an alert here. So you click. And you can see the alert. Okay, this is the alert. Going back home. Now how can you... Now, how can I organize the messages I receive in the group? So, um, let me show you how to organize your messages. Okay, now, uh, Luciana has created some flip charts for basic two. So, I'd like to organize and organize these messages into a basic two group. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new tag, because I don't have this one. B2 for basic 2, and I save it. Uh -huh. So now, as you can see, uh, these flip charts have been organized under the tag B2. Now, how can I find previous messages? One is, if you have tagged the message, you're going to see it is organized. So, um, I'd like to find something under Inter A, so I click here under Inter A, and these are all the messages I have tagged as Inter A. Or, okay, uh, what else can I do? I can also filter the messages from a specific person. So let's imagine, I remember Eloisa has posted something, but I forgot to tag. So what I do, I just click here on her picture, and I can see all the messages Eloisa has already sent to the group. Okay? So I believe that's all we're going to need at the moment. Okay, so remember, you type your message, send it to the group, click and send, and you're going to see the messages below. You can reply to the messages here by clicking and reply. And once someone has replied to something you have written, you're going to find an alert here on the right. Okay, bye-bye.